All right, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back with another StarCraft 2 1 versus 1 replay cast. It is not going to be a normal one though, I can tell you that much. We've got ourselves a Protoss versus Terran here on the map, Cairo Junction. But I'm just going to say it, I finally caved. It's got to happen. I'm going to be casting a game with Alpha Star in it. For those of you that don't know Alpha Star is uh, basically the Google AI project, the Google DeepMind project. And basically it's a robot or a AI base. Oh yeah, it's literally an AI that plays StarCraft 2. And it's not like some of the other AIs you might've seen like uh, in any other video game or anything like that. This is one that learns, it plans new strategies and stuff. And so it's really one of a kind for StarCraft 2. And now, now uh, Google and Blizzard have released it onto the ladder. So uh, basically it's been terrorizing players at quite a high skill level and this is going to be my first chance to cast it. Just I thought, oh, I didn't want to hop on the bandwagon right out the game but like, oh my god, Alpha Star, but now finally sitting back having a chance. Just I I'm just curious to see how this is going to work out, how like a script's going to play because this is actually a replay of it playing versus a very good Protoss player. It's Clash Hellraiser, a Ukrainian Protoss player who, who's just very good, very up and coming. And so uh, Alpha Star versus Hellraiser should be a great match to watch here. So uh, we can probably expect pretty standard play coming out of Hellraiser, but I've honestly not, besides like the initial show match and stuff that uh, Alpha Star did, which it was just kind of really really quick at everything and that's where it kind of got its wins from this one's a little bit more dialed back in that sense i believe so i really have no idea how it's going to play for starters though it is going to be going for a reaper expand which is uh pretty upgrade. pretty darn interesting Ooh, didn't mean to pull that one up i was just trying to lock under his vision to see what that was like okay well, yeah I'm, yeah that a camera okay there we go that's how the camera moves through alpha star and basically all of his actions are just like instantaneous yeah it's 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 really interesting but basically yeah this is alpha star and it's going to be taken on hellraiser it was at least tagged that way on uh on spawning tool i'm pretty darn sure because a few other people have covered it but i just thought all right let's let's check this out and see how this game's gonna go so the reefer comes on in for alpha star it's gonna start hunting down a probe right out the gate meanwhile this stalker gonna be chasing this reaper away so the reaper just gonna run a, run away we'll see is it just gonna park itself there it looks like it is now uh, let's take a look at the apm so it looks like alpha star played at 114 to 116 apm average anyway it's actually got a fair bit higher than that so that's really curious but yeah alpha star and hellraiser going at it right now i mean uh I'm curious to see if it's going to be like any sort of bizarre build that's going to be coming out of this spot here. Let's see, he's got a double Hellion on the way, got a Tech Lab on the way behind it, and then a Starport follow-up. So nothing too unordinary so far. We'll uh, see what what it's going to do in just a second here, though. Okay, Orbital Command finished up. So yeah, I mean, just looking at it, nothing, you couldn't really tell that this isn't a normal player. But it was one of the accounts that is tagged and associated with Alpha Star, so. Let's see. Starport gonna fly on over there. Barracks gonna land, I presume. Uh, Barracks maybe just gonna hang around till it's needed for something. We'll see. And then uh, Tech Lab on the way. Banshee on the way, followed up by uh, more or just the initial group of Hellions there. Hellions are gonna try and run on in. Good block though by Hellraiser shutting that down. <laughs> I think that's definitely not normal there. The Hellions just to hug those stalkers for so long. The AI having to deal with a block, so Hellraiser holding fast so far, but we'll see what else is going to happen. That uh, barracks is now on the reactor, and then we've got a tech lab on to the factory here, so we will take a look. There's now three Hellions out. I'm not sure what they're going to be able to get done, though. Those stalkers sitting at the natural, keeping that place nice and safe. One st Hellion actually runs on in. Two more follow it, but they're a little bit disjointed here. So the Hellions of Alpha Star are going to be getting shut down here. Very nicely done. And then let's take a look. A robotic spay on the way here for Hellraiser. So Hellraiser really doing a good job defending the aggression that's coming his way so far. A Banshee is coming out next. And uh, the Banshee, yeah. It's gonna have cloak here, but uh, it's a little bit concerning the fact that there's already one or there's already three observers out for Hellraiser. 
one of them's heading back just into the main base just right in time to intercept that banshee so not looking too good for this banshee here three stalkers and uh, observer all you really need that banshee actually just nopes out immediately and then uh, let's see what else is going on back at home. I saw Bunker on the production tab. So Alpha Star kind of walling off here a little bit at its natural. And then just uh, loading this Bunker up with Marines. So yeah, just Marines, tanks, and then Banshees on the way. So looking like a bit of a 1-1-1 one, one, one push here potentially. But then it does go and throws up. Okay, a hidden third command center. That is an interesting choice here from uh, from Alpha Star. So that that's really unique and cool to see. Uh, third command center actually pretty decently timed too seeing this out the third for the Protoss not that far ahead actually in goes the Banshee towards the natural might just nope out again immediately yeah it sees the observer it sees the stalkers and just uh, quickly backs on out of there so very passive with its Banshees once it sees that there's detection out there and units ready to intercept and then uh, extra barracks on the way here for Alpha Star in goes this Banshee, gonna cloak now, head on in towards the main base. Is there an Observer there though? Yes, there is. So that Banshee immediately turns around for Alpha Star, running, running, running away there. Uh, does make it away. And now we've got, I mean, I feel like I'm talking about a lot about the AI, uh, rightfully so. But as far as what Hellraiser's doing, he's playing a pretty classic Protoss style. A lot of gateways, getting up a few Colossus, then getting up charge. I imagine he's probably gonna wanna try and get Blink a little bit after the charge. And then just getting plus one armor along with this. Alpha Star, though, does have its third orbital command done. Gonna transform that. It's got that this SCV just hanging out here for now. And then, interestingly enough, yeah, we've got a stim pack on the way for Alpha Star. It's making a Marine just off this barracks, throwing up an, uh, another barracks here. Bit of an interesting barracks placement. Transfers some SCVs, however, I fear, I fear for Alpha Star that uh, Hellraiser is going to have caught a glimpse of this, and he might just have. So that third base could have been given away. The robot maybe not understanding the element of surprise. While this is going on, though, looks like uh, the Banshee's maybe going for a bit of harassment. This one Banshee has actually found some probes here, so it picks off one or two there. And we take a look at the actual worker count. Okay, 11 probes have gone down this game. But uh, basically, yeah, the worker count's actually in the lead here for Alpha Star. It's just making SCVs non-stop, which is important to note. And then just uh, making its Marines... Uh, yeah, making its Marines this Banshee up to seven probe kills, which is no small amount. It's now maybe looking for some at the natural, but oh, it looks like, yeah, that Banshee does go down a little bit uh, mispathed there, but... We do see an armory on the way for Alpha Star, which is an interesting uh, choice that it's building an armory already when it hasn't started at second eBay. So is it just going to go right into like plus two attack or something like that? That is an interesting uh, thing to note. No second eBay, but an armory on the way already. So does it go for the armor or the attack? It's thrown up more supply depots, kind of walling itself in a little bit there with its uh, tanks. And then just transferring SCVs towards this third base. The saturation for Alpha Star compared to previous iterations, it's actually following uh, what the guide says here. But uh, it's actually a little undersaturated at its natural. And then, yeah, let's take a look. Hellraiser going to be moving out for an attack, it would seem. Alpha Star just making an absolute ton of Marines right now. And then, uh, yeah, let's see. Five tanks are out for Alpha Star. It's kind of walled itself in rather poorly, as a matter of fact. It, I don't think the tanks can actually fit through here because these two are kind of blocking it. It's got, uh, yeah, it's got not the best Sim City. It looks like Hellraiser might be trying to attack on in here. That's a little bit bold, though, because there actually is five siege tanks at the back. Keep in mind, there's no combat shield for these Marines, though, so they will just get absolutely slaughtered by the swipes of the Colossus. However, the tanks are enough to protect them. There we go. We are actually seeing plus two attack start for Alpha Star ahead of uh, ahead of plus two armor. Combat shield is at least on the way, but Alpha Star moving out, maybe being a little bit bold here, just running away with its Marines, turning and fighting. It has yet to stim. There we go. There's a stim going down. The Zealots have plus one army bar armor, but the Marines have plus one attack, and the tanks are enough to zone out the Colossus there. So things going all right for Hellraiser. Interestingly enough. A Banshee on the way. No Medivacs have actually been made by the AI. It's just making a ton of Marines, which is kind of ridiculous. A factory on the way after that. And then it's just happily mining at its hidden third base. Bouncing an SCV down here. Going to be starting what looks like another command center here. Got to be careful with these Marines, though, if you're the, if you're the robot. That's for sure. 
Look at this though, Alpha Star going for a bit of a counterattack right now though. It's got a ton of tanks set up defensively, but it's actually just moving across the map with pretty much all of its Marines. It's deciding to split them up a little bit. No, they're gonna group back together like a big old snake. Are we gonna have to see Hellraiser recall to maybe deal with this? Hellraiser's going for some Zealot counter harassment. SCV's pulling themselves into the Zealot, doing what they can. Uh, these Marines not really helping Alpha Star. Now we see uh, in goes some of these Marines. They're gonna run on in, they're gonna start attacking. Focuses down that uh, the extractors first, interestingly enough. A ton of zealots get warped on in though, and that can be the end of all these marines that were counterattacking. Meanwhile, there's still a bit of a counterattack going on from Hellraiser, who is still making, and the AI, which is still making banshees, interestingly enough. Okay, we look at the supply. It's actually pretty good for Alpha Star. He's just got a ton of marines, a ton of tanks, and then a few banshees floating around. One medivac is on the way since it made another starport here. But uh, for Hellraiser, oh, this could be real bad. Alpha Star stims, picks off that uh, that prism there. And now let's take a look. A factory being floated over here. Okay, this is an interesting choice from Alpha Star, floating it over on top of his tank, sending up tanks as it moves on in to attack the third base of Hellraiser. Very few medivacs so far. Tanks are getting blinked on top of by the Stalkers. The Archon's doing a good job closing the distance there, and they are actually going to shut down most of the tanks. And with the tanks gone, the Colossus are pretty much going to have free reign on top of all of these Marines here. More Marines are kind of just trailing on in here for Alpha Star. Looks like uh, there's a few Banshees left that may actually be able to challenge the Colossus, and uh, Hellraiser knows that, so he actually recalls there to avoid those Banshees, which are being a pain. And there is indeed a factory that is floating over towards this position. So I don't know what the robot's thinking there. A third base or a fourth base is on the way. It's going to be a planetary for Hellraiser. Meanwhile, uh, the Banshee's going for a bit of harassment. Hellraiser did lose the base there. He does still have the very strong three Colossus, though. And, uh, yeah, let's take a look here. I, an attack going to be moving north towards uh, the mining base of Hellraiser here, and this is a very important location. The siege tank not firing away yet, but if Hellraiser does get up a couple of tanks at this base, it could be a little bit dicey. Or if, uh, yeah, if uh, Alpha Star gets up a few uh, tanks. They're going to be running on in here for Alpha Star. Going to start right-clicking onto this Nexus. That's going to be the end of mining for Hellraiser, who is busy counterattacking and is still busy counterattacking. But they never say base. They say never base trade is Terran. I don't know if that applies to an Alpha Star Terran, but we will find out here. It's just a ton of Marines for Alpha Star here. These three Colossus have just got so many kills between them. Twenty-seven kills for this one Colossus absolutely insane but then we check out the main base of hellraiser he's warped in a few stalkers he's got a cannon or two i think he needs to pull the probes if he's going to have a chance at defending this uh the stalkers are doing the best they can but it's not going to be enough he maybe needs to warp in some more marines there we go more stalkers being warped on in how's the counter attack going it's going all right for hellraiser but alpha star is still holding in his main base the concern though is the fact that these colossus can kill Pretty much the Infinity Marines that Alpha Star is making. The Banshees, though, are pretty much uncontested at this point. There's a few Stalkers on the ground, but they are not doing their job properly. The Stalkers are blinking forward, trying to work away in these Banshees. Hellraiser really needs to take them down, and looks like he will be able to. However, back at his main base, he's just got one Stalker warping in because he hasn't doesn't just doesn't have enough right now and then we take a look at tank is set up in the main base so it looks like hellraiser's attack is actually going to be getting shut down right now alpha star cleaning up the natural just uh just kind of just hanging out with these marines for now and then we take a look at the main base of hellraiser yeah it's just three stalkers while alpha star it still has this hidden base it's got this planetary which really is uncontested there's one colossus harassing it but uh that one colossus while it's got 42 kills i don't know if it's uh gonna be able to change the tide of this battle and gg gets called as hellraiser gets taken down by alpha star there what a crazy game and uh that was an interesting first look at alpha star i mean uh i am gonna do some digging just to make sure that this was indeed alpha star and was one of the accounts and i'm nine i'm pretty darn sure that it was and uh, it looks like it just plays surprisingly normal, besides like a few little quirks. Like we see it was going into double Raven. I'm guessing that's just the AI's reaction to having a ton of gas and uh, a limited mineral income from, I guess, the attacks or something like that. 
And so, yeah, that's an interesting play. And then just the continuous Banshees was a little bit odd. The movement was odd. The composition was odd. But it's clearly still playing, like, at a very high level, at a play style that works. Like, the mass tank Marine, it brought down someone who uh, played to Hellraiser's style. And so, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to press that like button. Leave a like for Alpha Star versus Hellraiser. Just, uh, I mean, uh, what a great game to cast. I'll probably cast some more Alpha Star if there are any games that look good. I do find the AI really interesting, but there are other content creators that put out, like, uh, very good analytical content on how the AI plays. But it is really cool to see just, like, uh, the way it, it basically, it gets the same job done, but it plays a little bit different. And, uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Otherwise, I shall see you guys next time.